everyone and welcome to Idea Forge. I'm Emily Garten. I'm an information architect here at ICF Ironworks in Tyson's Corner. Um, I want to welcome you to Idea Forged. This is the first in a series where we talk about practical applications of some big ideas and trends in user experience design. Today we're going to talk about findability. So you've probably heard the term before, but what exactly does it mean? Peter Morville, he's a leading thinker in the user experience design field, kind of describes and talks to findability as you know, having users be able to find your website and then locate the relevant information that they're looking for. So when we talk about findability with our clients, some of the things that we talk to them about, of course, is having somebody find your website. We've already covered some of these tips and tricks on our blog, Fit and Finish, and I highly encourage you to head on over there and check that out. And then the most important part is once you get somebody to your website, helping them discover and rediscover your content. So one of the things you often provide and most people provide on their websites is a search. You want your search to work and you want it to work well. But in addition to the search, you need to plan your features that you're providing alongside of it. I've put together some sketches here and they're just simple ways for me to quickly illustrate some ideas and concepts. So here's a search where you're letting the user decide what type of information they're going to be looking for in their search. So I want to search for news or I want to search for people. Um, this is a quick way to help them narrow down the results before they even hit the go button. Once the user runs a search and they get their search re results, you might want to help them narrow down how many hits they get, especially if you have a lot of content. So here we have um, you know, your search results page and then you can filter maybe by rating or color or product depending on the content that's available on your website. Another thing that um, we often encourage users um, to do when we're designing for them is we often provide um, a set of topics for users to narrow down content by. So you can search by, you know, I want to browse content by art or computers or X, Y, or Z. So that's an idea that you can use um, just in a general way. And last, you might want to provide archives if you have a lot of content on your website, and then you need to have a plan for how you're maintaining those. Oh, and don't forget your sitemap. You might want to include a sitemap. It's a nice way to have an overview of your website. It gives people a jumping off point, and um, especially if you go away from a website and then you come back, you can use a um, sitemap as kind of a a way to find where you were before. So that kind of wraps it up for findability and idea forge today. Um, I hope you come back for some more tips and tricks, um, and we'll see you next time.